<laughs> Hello. Good evening. How are we all today? MPs, apparently, have been warned by the Met Police not to go out alone and take taxis back from work. Yeah, well, I bet they put that fucker on expenses, wouldn't they? <laughs> well, I wonder why. Well, that's right, it's threats of violence because of Brexit, isn't it? Theresa May has chucked all her toys out the fucking pram. Wah! It's all your fault. It's all the MP's fault. I've got nothing to do with it. Wah! <laughs> what a stupid cow. <laughs> For fuck's sake. It's fucking unbelievable. They've completely fucking denied the will of the people. They've been carrying on like they fucking own the place. And now they wonder why they're getting threats of fucking violence and hatred. <laughs> I mean, it's like Cambridge Police. It's fucking make up any law as you go along, isn't it? <laughs> oh, but we must. There'll be fucking swarms of coppers out in the streets now, round fucking Downing Street, round fucking Whitehall. Oh, we must protect our political masters. We've got no resources now. No, we can't invent or investigate all those silly stabbings and stuff now. No, but there's fucking thousands of us to protect the fucking MPs. There's a fucking murderer in charge of the fucking Met, for fuck's sake. I mean, what the fuck do you fucking expect, really? Listen, I'm not trying to patronise anyone, but people look up. They look at what the people in power are doing, and they imitate. Right? If you want to cut theft and violence and fucking crime, how about all the MPs stop stealing all the fucking taxpayers' money? Okay? I mean, we had the fucking expenses scandal. What did they do? They set up IPSA, the Independent Parli Parliamentary Standards Authority. And they had to agree with whatever the IPSA decided as to their pay. And luckily, fucking luckily, it goes up every fucking year. That's fucking amazing, isn't it? I mean, some of them, one of them, I think, had 12 fucking houses. A Labour MP through fucking mortgage flipping because they're thieving fucking bastards. What did they say when they were caught out? It was all within the spirit of the rules or some such fucking bullshit. And now what have they done? Brexit, right? From day one, it's been fucking evident they don't want fucking Brexit. They fucking rallied against it. Keir Starmer. Fucking other people have been having secret meetings in the EU with undisclosed people. Blair has been going round. What the fuck is Blair? I mean, for fuck's sake, he hasn't been an MP for fucking God knows how long. Going round to European leaders trying to fucking overthrow Brexit. And they wonder why they're getting threats of fucking violence, do they? They're not that fucking bright then, are they? Can't be. For fuck, I mean, the fucking saga rumbles on, doesn't it? Jesus fucking Christ. Now, luckily, it's looking like no deal. <laughs> Which is all... Yes, that's what 17.4 million voters wanted originally. Was it two and a half years ago now? Hmm. But yes, you spent two and a half years making shit up. And you wonder, why are you getting threats of fucking violence against you? Jesus fucking Christ! Three short planks, hello! Have a fucking mental agility contest! <laughs> what a bunch of fucking dipshits. Seriously. Just fucking burn the house of commas down. They're the fucking scum, the whole fucking lot of them. They're vile, thieving, fuckface wanker, fucking kiddie fiddling, thieving bastards. Seriously. And they're protected by their bent fucking police mates. Oh, you should have known you're being arrested because you got in the back of a marked police vehicle with uniformed officers present. Well, fuck you, Inspector Paul Rogerson. I'm going to have you sent to jail for 20 fucking years. What do you think of that, you fucking wanker? Simon Parr, you're going as well. So is Nick Dean. Uh, not Nick Dean. Well, Nick Dean might, actually, yes. So is Elliot Wood. Yeah, you vile piece of shit. 
send out a summons to me when I haven't actually been charged or arrested with any offence because your officers are a bunch of lying pieces of fucking shit who just walk into people's fucking houses uninvited and just arrest people completely fucking unlawfully with threats of fucking violence. Now why do you think the MPs are getting threats of fucking violence? Because people are frustrated. They're fed up. They're pissed off. They've fucking had enough of the fucking bullshit that comes out of fucking Whitehall. Liars, thieves, insidious little fucking shits. You covered up Grenfell. You covered up Rotherham. You covered up fucking Hillsborough. You covered up the shooting of fucking Jean Charles de Menzies. Many, many hundreds of others probably who have died either during an arrest or in police custody completely fucking unlawfully because they were fucking murdered. And do you wonder why the fucking people are fucking pissed off? Do you? Really? You stupid bunch of heathen fucking incestuous fucking little shit. Threats of violence against MPs. Fucking good.